a lot of people here. Um, I'd like to begin with a story. <clears throat> About five years ago, I was cycling to work in Nairobi and a car drifts past me and out of the window comes a yogurt container, partially eaten, and it hits me straight in the chest. The thing explodes, yogurt everywhere. I am covered in it. I'll level with you. I was furious, absolutely livid, but why? Where do you put your rubbish? In a trash can, if you're American trash can, rubbish in a rubbish bin, that's the same, same as me. That makes us decent, respectable people, right? That driver could have definitely done the same thing. But then what? Where does that rubbish end up? So I start researching. I find out that in developing nations like mine, 4% of waste is recycled. The rest of it ends up there. So that's disgusting. I think we can all agree, but it's all in one place. Out of sight, out of mind, end of story, we'll know. I carry on reading, and it turns out that the vast majority of waste going to landfill is organic waste, food waste. Now, why is that significant? We don't normally associate food waste with global warming. But when we discard food waste, it breaks down into methane and nitrous oxide, both of which are significantly worse than CO2. In fact, 10% of all greenhouse gas emissions come from the food that we throw in the bin. Surely there was something more efficient that we could be doing with our waste, something which made business sense and environmental sense. And that's when I met this guy, Sunil Mushendwa, and he introduced me to these guys. I can tell what you're thinking. What on earth are they and how do they solve anything? Well, they're black soldier flies and they start their life as larvae. You see, Sunil is an architect and through something as beautifully simple as a fly, he had developed a profitable and sustainable mechanism of converting waste, which would otherwise go to landfill, into protein. Protein which we could sell as livestock feed and also manure, which we can sell as biofertilizer. So Sunni and I, we team up. We formalized Chanzi as a business. We commercialized his business model and we began rolling out around East Africa. We joined the accelerator last year and in collaboration with Unilever and AB InBev, we constructed a facility in Dar es Salaam. Just like all the other Chanzi facilities, this one can offtake 18 metric tons of waste every single day. It employs 23 staff and production is ramping up while we speak, or while I speak, you guys have been fairly quiet. <laughs> How does it benefit AB InBev? Well, Esgi, your site, this brewery alone is spending $100,000 a year disposing of your brewer's spent yeast. Luckily for you, our bugs absolutely love this stuff. They'll take it off your hands for free. How does it benefit other businesses, communities, the environment? Well, these bugs need a balanced diet. So for every ton of this stuff, we need to mix in a ton of organic waste that we divert from landfill. What does this look like at scale? So here are the, here are the countries that we're currently operating in. But why stop there? You see, over the last few years, Sunni and myself have developed the foundations and the vision that we need to roll this out continentally. In fact, our dream is to have 47 Chanzi facilities throughout East Africa and Sub-Saharan Africa over the next five years. That's 1,200 metric tons of waste every single day, giving us carbon offset of 250,000 tons a year. All of it, instead of going into landfill and creating methane, goes into these bugs, which, as I said earlier, we feed to our livestock. These bugs, now they replace soya. Soya is the second biggest contributor to deforestation globally. And when you consider that we on one acre can produce 2,500 times more protein than soya, that's a lot of rainforest that we're saving. These bugs also replace fish meal. 37% of the fish that we catch in the wild goes into feeding the animals that we eat. And when you consider how threatened global fish stocks are, this is great news for the marine ecosystems. We are producing a product that is far more environmentally friendly. It is cheaper and it is better quality. I'm gonna leave you with this. They say that some of the best ideas are often the most simple. And I genuinely believe that Sune's idea is beautiful in its simplicity. It solves my waste issue as well as numerous other challenges along the way. Perhaps it's time that we let this idea fly. Thank you very much.